Hello and welcome to Rooster Jokes. Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Do not walk behind me, for I may not lead. Do not walk ahead of me, for I may not follow. Do not walk beside me either. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Better to understand a little than to misunderstand a lot. <laughs> a policeman pulls a man over for speeding and asks him to get out of the car. After looking the man over, he says, Sir, I couldn't help but notice your eyes are bloodshot. Have you been drinking? The man gets really indignant and says, Officer, I couldn't help but notice your eyes are glazed. Have you been eating donuts? <laughs> One night, a police officer was skating out a particularly rowdy bar for possible DUI violations. At closing time, he saw a fellow stumble out of the bar, trip on the curb and try his keys on five different cars before he found his. The man sat in the front seat fumbling around with his keys for several minutes. Meanwhile, all the other patrons left the bar and drove off. Finally, he started his engine and began to pull away. The police officer was waiting for him. As soon as he pulled onto the street, the officer stopped him, read him his rights and administered the breathalyzer test to determine his blood alcohol content. The result showed a reading of 0.0. .0. The puzzled officer demanded to know how that could be. The driver replied, Tonight, I'm the design decoy. <laughs> Borrow money from a pessimist. They don't expect it back. <laughs> a blonde walks into the police department looking for a job. The captain says, they can't just turn her away and orders the desk officer to ask her a few questions as if doing an interview to just play along and humor her. Not having any idea what to ask her to disqualify her application, the officer asks, what's 2 plus 2? Um, 4, the blonde says. Dang, the officer thinks, so tries a harder one. What's the square root of a hundred? Um, ten, the blonde says. Good, the officer says, deciding to switch from math to history. Okay, who killed Abraham Lincoln? Um, I don't know, she admits. Well, you can go home and think about it, he says, and come back later and tell me what you figure out. He figures that's the last he'll see of her. The blonde goes home and calls up one of her friends, who asks her if she got the job. Not only did I get the job, the blonde says, but I've already been assigned to a murder case. <laughs> Those poor cops, they put themselves in a line of fire to protect and serve us, yet we make jokes about them. Maybe if so many fat police officers weren't sitting in a Dunkin' Donuts writing speeding tickets, they'd be left alone. <laughs> I went to the store the other day. I was only in there for about five minutes and when I came out, there was a motorcycle cop writing a parking ticket. So I went up to him and said, Come on, buddy. How about giving a guy a break? He ignored me and continued writing the ticket. So I called him a stupid idiot. He glared at me and started writing another ticket for having bald tires. Then I really got angry at him. He finished the second ticket and put it on the car with the first. Then he started writing a third ticket. This went on for about 20 minutes. The more I abused him, the more tickets he wrote. I didn't care. My car was parked around the corner. <laughs> Three men stood before a judge on a charge of drunk and disorderly conduct in a public park. Judge, what were you doing? First man, oh, just throwing peanuts in the pond. Judge, 
And what were you doing? Second man. I was throwing peanuts in the pond too. Judge. Sounds harmless. And you, were you throwing peanuts in the pond as well? Third man. No, sir. I am peanuts. <laughs> Two men walked into a bar. You would think at least one of them would have ducked. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. To hear more jokes, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Goodbye!